Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, this is going to be an extension of another tutorial that I did some time ago uh, on blending images. I'm going to be doing uh, something similar, but uh, at the same time a little bit different. In that tutorial, I was taking two images that were very similar and they were just different colors. Uh, uh, I don't know if you remember, it was the apples, the two apples, uh, the apple logo. Well, what I'm doing in this tutorial is, is instead of using two, two images that are very similar, I'm going to take two images that are very different. And I'm go and you're going to see the, res uh, the result after um, adding them together. I will be using the add weighted uh, function that you can find in the documentation in the uh, OpenCV documentation website page. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is SSH into our Raspberry Pi. And, and I'm going to open another one here. directory already 14 and these are the files this is the CMake list uh, text uh, file the add images uh, the C++ file and the Python okay and the two images that I'll be working with uh, let me uh, show you the images that I that I picked uh, city and fire and these are these images. Is this nice uh, uh, picture here, and this other picture of uh, fireworks? And the only the similarity between the two is the the these are, they're both three two forty by three twenty. Okay, so it's two forty by three twenty, and um, that's the only similarity that they have. And you'll see the the result. Okay, so let's do to see, and let's look at the code. Uh, first, let me show you the the template, like I always do. Is uh, add images will be the name of the executable. It's also a project name, executable, and the add images C plus plus is the file name, and add the images linking the libraries together, and. Let me show you the code. This is out of the Robert Laganier's book that I mentioned to you in one of the very good book. I I, I use four or five books for this series of tutorials, and I keep going. For, you know, I get code from one that I want to show you, and then I, I I might show you code from from another one also. So, the Gary Bratsky, which I did uh, two three tutorials ago. Where am I? Uh, images, that's not the name. It's nano. Add images, CPB. Okay, this is the one. And as you can see, this is from there. Uh, this the vectors is including all of all of the the usual suspects here. Uh, this is the main function. Uh, the object. Image one, another object. Image two is decoding the image and saving it into this variable. Decoding the second image, saving it into the second variable, making sure that there is data there. Okay, and creating the the windows where they're going to show the images. Third object, the result. And this is the, the most important thing right here, is the add weighted function. And these are the uh, yeah, the parameters. And if we go back to the OpenCV, this, we, they have the add function, but they also have, if you keep go to this page, you'll find them. You'll find them for Python, um, Python with the input parameters. This is Python 1, the, the old version the second version on CV2 and the C++ and if you want you're using the C base API this is the one that they use okay but what they're taking is the first image 
the alpha is the weight of the first image, second image, weight of the second image, destination, and the gamma, which is the scalar that is added to each of these sums. Okay? So let's look at the code and nothing. Let's close it. Yes. And let's compile. So it's linking, and uh, another thing you can change the 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 uh, here and the alpha value. You can change it. You can uh, go up. I, I here I have it on. I believe it's well point seven, but uh, you can go up and down depending on 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 on, on what you want the result to look like okay so it's, these are not set values you these are input parameters you put them in yourself so let's see what we have here Add images oops and let's run it and as you can see there's the image one image two and the result okay it's the fireworks it looks like it's exploding on uh, on that picture okay and uh, this is doing it with C++ and now we're gonna be doing it using uh, a Python and let me show you the Python code actually let me do it here control X uh, nano uh, images one And uh, as you can see, this is the one that I was talking about, the alpha input. You can change it to, to 0.5 or 0.7. I'll change it and I'll show you the difference, okay? Uh, it's very similar to the to the C++ code. It's the input, the alpha, the beta, subtracting 1 minus the alpha input value, the gamma, the image, decoding the first image, decoding the second image and saving it into the image2 variable and then uh, opening showing them and then the result okay and then destroy all windows as you can see here this is the same that we got for from uh, from Python right here this is the source the alpha this uh, source 2 image beta and gamma. Okay, so let's uh, let's run it. Image by, and you're gonna get the same result. Okay, you get the first image, second image, and the blended result image with the fireworks right on top of the island. Okay, but this is uh, doing it with Python. Let me just show you when we change the the alpha. We can change the alpha. Let's say let's do uh, 0 0.7. Control X, yes, and let's run it. And you can go up, you can go down. As you can see, the fireworks are less noticeable than the first time around. You, you you can play around and you can see the difference that it does change in the alpha. But this is the end of the tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please uh, click the like box and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.